official referee, the third man, and here we go. Lapel for round one, and Tyson comes right out with a straight left. Orleans a great defensive fighter, good offensive fighter as well. Not with the power, Mike, but he's probably a little quicker. Very sneaky, good movement, and he's used to going the distance, Steve. He can go and do the 10 rounds, no problem. Morris heavily muscled, not quite as defined and carved as Tyson. They're not used to being on the same eye level as each other. Both are heavily muscled and the same muscle type. Good left hook to the belly by Mike Tyson right there. Tyson going to the body. This is going to be something new. Mike's used to springing up into big men. Now he has a short man the same size right in front of him. right there Orlin Norris also grabbed Mike's left arm right inside and walked him counterclockwise away from that left hook at least Mike is trying to jab more than he did in the other fights they've trained him to start to come in with a jab well he's coming in with a jab and Norris boxing right. throwing the jab and Tyson holds Norton Norris very cool he's not at all upset he's just boxing like he always does. Not at all intimidated by the no, moment. Not at all. Heavy right hands, a series of rights to the head and body by Mike Tyson, getting a roar from the crowd. Here's that jab of Norris again. Warren well, still hasn't stopped and picked his spot. He's looking for the spot to get that pound of flesh. He's got to hit Mike and sting on little so he can get some respect. Then he can implement his game plan much easier. Norris's best weapon, the double left hook. There's a straight left hand there by uh, Mike Tyson, and then he follows it up with a combination and a right uppercut. Dylan's very hard to hit clean. Keeps his hands high and tight, rolls, uses his shoulders to roll with the punches and block them. If Mike is not in condition to go good 10 rounds at a good pace, could be interesting after we get past five and six. Orleans, one of these kind of guys that's fought everybody. He's not intimidated at all. I mean, he's doing this just like if he's fighting any, any, anybody else for the championship. Come on, I don't know what I see there. in Tyson yet. I, I, he's side. coming on, in with a, with a with a jab. Break, it step looks step like step he's not bending from the waist hold. enough. He's certainly not moving his head enough. He's still standing straight up. See, he's not bending over like he used to and coil and spring. Punch to get out of there. Break somebody. Step back to me. Norris, step a back. consummate Break. defensive fighter, good hold, boxer, hold. counter puncher. Oh, man. Don't tell me we're starting that. By Richard Steele as we head for the bell. That was a punch uh, while they were talking. Oh, and he hits him after the bell, and Norris goes down, and here we go again. Tyson hit Norris after the bell. And let's see what Steele says. He hit after the bell. That's two points. Oh, wow. Two points. The Ducks, two points. Oh, really? He could have lost the whole fight. Two points. Two points, put that on American Express. What and difference just like does that, that make? the crowd has turned on up. Tyson. You gotta listen up. That cost you two points. Listen. Hit that jab. You didn't look at that. Get your rhythm. Join that jab. Oh, you cannot stay in front of him. When you throw a punch, you gotta walk him. You gotta move him. Come on, man. It'll cost him two points. again Richard Steele in the center of a hurricane Mike Marley in the background Norris's advisor is screaming at the top of his lungs it's a disqualification because he hit him after the bell and I clean it up for you I'd, I'd like to see that again because it almost looked to me like if it was at the same time as him saying break and the punch going time well now this is politics now the bell is rung for round two but nothing's happening Norris in the corner, shaking it up. They're Abel Sanchez right sends his knee. He's looking at his leg. He's saying his knee is hurting him. This is about a knee. This is not about anything else. It's the right day of Norris. Unbelievable. This is not about his head. Dr. Flip Pomansky, the man with the goat team. It's me. You can't continue. 
head and he cannot continue. Oh, man. I can't make him continue. You know what? I it can't reminds make me. him continue. Now he goes over to the executive director of the Nevada Athletic Commission, Mark Ratner. Can you believe this after one round? I can believe anything in Tyson land. It doesn't seem like we're ever going to have a normal fight. There's Elias Cottom. Boy, somebody's mad as heck. From the Nevada Athletic Commission, they're conferring with all of the guys there now. Why would a blow on the head hurt your knee? I mean, you know, what? Well, when he went down, right, he made, let's watch it. Let's he made watch it slammed it. on his knee when he went down. Let's well, see. Let's see. I, I want to hear him say break and, and at the time, watch Tyson's arm. No, you see, here he is. See? Oh, it's oh, buckled. It's yeah. You can see his leg buckled as he went down. I'll tell you what, though. I would like to see it at regular speed with the, with the sound. I think you hit him on the bell, right on the bell. That's what. That's the way I see it, Bob. I, I think that was a simultaneous thing, just as it was happening. Here comes Mark Ratner. <laughs> let's let's listen. Come on, Benny. Oh. Now there's a lot of scurrying in the ring. Uh oh. They, they better they better put protection. Here up comes here. security. Boy, we've seen this scene before with a Tyson fight. Let's not see it again. They're forming a, a circle around Tyson. And you can hear the crowd chanting its displeasure now. And things are getting ugly again. There's Shelly Finkel, Tyson's advisor. Look at the amount of security in the ring. You were fine. You were good. This is fine. Well, everybody seems to be in the dark. Well, I've never seen anything stop because of a knee injury, have you? I haven't. No. Nope. And I've been in it for 40 years. Well, we're dispatching the fight doctor into the ring. Maybe he can lend some uh, insight into what's going on when he talks to people. And meanwhile, they're they're taping up the injured right knee of Orlin Norris, which buckled when he went down. At the end of round one, he was hit. It seemed after the bell by Mike Tyson. Mike Marley, Norris's advisor, screaming that it should be a disqualification and Norris should be the winner. You no, know, Steve, I got the impression that Mike was trying to jam the left uppercut up as the bell was going off. I don't know that it was just a that it was a clean left hook after the bell conscious thought I, I really don't I mean I'd like to see it again it just all happened too fast and when you start a bunch it's hard but it's like the critter the kid who cried wolf Bobby it's like how many times can we see this happening with Mike Tyson we will take another look we'll, we'll show it again but we don't we don't want to leave the ring right now Saga continues. Never an easy day. We want to stay right with this picture because anything can happen. But we will definitely show you a replay of the end of the first round. Again, I'm sure you'll see it several times again before this thing is over. So once again, Mike Tyson and controversy come together. I wish I could hear what Shelly Finkel was just saying. Well, let's find out what's going on. We'll get Jimmy Lennon Jr. up there in the ring to uh, make an announcement. Take it, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. This bout has been stopped after round number one due to an accidental foul which occurred after the bell rang. This bout is officially ruled at this time a no contest. Well, you heard it. The bout has been officially declared a no contest. The fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, is with Mike Tyson. Ferdy? 
All right, another night, another Tyson night. Give me your view of what happened. Did you throw the punch after you heard the bell? Well, you know, you were there. You saw it. It was simultaneous with the bell. And the punch wasn't that devastating. He could have continued. He quit on his stool. But I'll take him again in my next fight. I'll fight him right away. Well, let's fight him in December. I'd love to. All right, let me ask you something. How could a blow to the jaw hurt his knee? Listen, all right? I you, he knew the next round I was going to put that heat on him, and he wasn't ready for that heat. All right, can, Shelly, can they do something legally to screw this up? Can they no. go talk disqualification? No, they did already. They ruled it a no contest. It shouldn't have been that, but they did. We're ready to go back whenever Mike wants, and Mike said immediately. Your disappointment, I'm sure, was great. You've trained well. You're ready for a good fight. You're ready to come back in December against anybody. I feel great, and I just want to continue to fight one fight at a time and fight around four more fights and fight for the championship. Yes, sir. All right. If this so happens that it falls in December, you could fight this guy again. Would you be willing, Shelly, to oh, fight for him? Of course. Uh, not me. Mike would fight him. No, but you're. you're... <laughs> All right. Sure. The, let, 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 hey, we, you and I have been around a long time together. You feel your snake bit or something every time something happens. God, every time you come up here, something crazy happens. Well, listen, all praise be to Allah. I don't want to dwell on this anymore. I just want to say hi to my friend, the Smith family out there in, in, in Gilbert, Arizona. I like to say hi to Tiger Woods. We trained together with Keith Clevin, and he did it, and I wanted to score another knockout because you were successful. And I like to say hi to my friend Chuck Zito, and get well soon. I love you, brother. Peace.